hello friends welcome back and this is the third video on the data model power query and conversion to power pivots so i'm going to show you some more tips and tricks in this so i have already converted this database uh, from power query to load and from loading i had made into pivot table so what i have done is the data was uh, dancing here and there so i'm going to show you some tips and tricks you know so it's a, it's a vast database so you want to keep all the things on board so if you have to see that this is coming in the side side one so what you can do is you can go to options and here you can keep your cursor and bring this into the, in the middle so now you can see it's in the middle and apart from that uh, you can see whenever i try to do this thing you know it keeps on changing the format and all so it, i have to keep on changing this and uh, i have to remove this and i have to do it in such a way so some so to some extent what i'll be doing is selecting this and i'm going to minimize this with one so all will be minimized and after i minimize into a certain extent then i will do is i will maximize this into some sort of extent so now you can see the data is in proper shape and as i told you you can go select this one by one and and if you select and from here you can make this into a border so uh, it's, it's not working in my model but i have in the system i've seen when i select this and uh, i can make this into a border so it's in my laptop i am not able to this but we also can do that by selecting each one and every one and we can border on this so uh, to uh, one more trick is that you go to analyze and uh, you go to analyze and now you go to options and uh, auto fit columns and it's an update and preserve cell formatting uh, on update so you can remove this if you want we already have merged so it will be in the center so select this and uh, if you have error values also you can show some data over here if you want to see it shows some data like null or zero or whatever it is so you can see this and uh, now it is preserved so and uh, if you want to see the services level to service level what you have to do is go to fields and there is something called service level so either you can remove this description and you can the total but you can go to service level so you can see now the things are not changing because i have preserved that so the alignment doesn't change except for this one so i want to see a way to stop this and i want to stop this also because every time i have to go and i have to remove this merge service level in service level you can see see the things in the service level now so it will be most, much more easier so so you can see this towers don't have this data and uh, some of the area this data was there so this for these particular things so it will be more magnified and uh, it will be more easy so just remember that in the options first of all this uh, and uh, just remove this cell or uh, this this one and you can add any something to just for empty cells and uh, yeah apart from that then uh, the next one is if you want to see in the description also we can add a description and we can see this in the description level also so again this is going to be one more challenge you know you have to keep on removing this so you can see but the thing is that this uh, columns are not changing the space now so this is a very useful tips and uh, trick you know you can it's very 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 <laughs> challenging because if you keep on formatting it will be uh, you know a tough situation you will be it will be repetitive and uh, repetitive and uh, you don't want to do, do that again and again so you can go again field list and you can 
uh, you know the description and you can see the things better just uh, every time you do you do um, just remove this and uh, so now i think you can have better better view of the database now, right now so this is so thanks for watching and uh, in the next video i will be showing you how to do this in data model and remove the unnecessary space so once again thank you for watching the video and please share to this video share this video for tips and tricks in pivot tables and let's meet in the next video soon thank you